Lake, catching the boat on Ross Lake on our way to Challenger. Whew. Awesome day today. Tomorrow might not be so nice, but then our next two days should be awesome. Oh, over to again? <laughs> Alright, boat just dropped us off. We put away those damn masks for a few days now. And off we go on our way to Challenger. Alright, I think we're about 11 ish miles in. Starting to get a little brushy. Alright, about a mile from camp. Looks like that's uh, the Eiley Wiley Ridge in front of us up there. So we gotta bushwhack our way up and across that tomorrow. All right, day one, coming to a close. Time for dinner, what's for dinner? Stuffed peppers. Got dehydrated stuffed peppers, fresh cheese, and baguette. So we are camped out 13 miles in at Big Beaver Camp. Hiding from, mosquitoes. Hiding from the mosquitoes and hopefully we won't get too much bad weather tomorrow. We'll figure out how to get up on Eiley Wiley Ridge. Alright, it's about almost 8 a.m. day two, just leaving camp. And this is where we leave all the trails and try to bushwhack our way up Eiley Wiley Ridge. Pretty sure nobody's ever come this way. I think we're forging our own path right now. I think we're about four to five hundred feet up the start of the ridge. The ravine we're following is over there. This open forest area, actually not too bad. We just came out of an Awful lot of dense brush. Fields of Devil's Club. The mosquitoes are absolutely insane. I don't know how many I've already swallowed. But looks like we got at least some just a good solid uphill and open terrain for a while. Whew. I put a mask on to keep these bugs out of my mouth. These damn mosquitoes are Violating my constitutional rights. They're violating my freedom. I should not have to wear a mask because of mosquitoes. Yeah, mosquitoes. Ugh. They're about a mile up, almost an uh, about an hour and ten minutes in. Probably about a pushing 900 feet up, maybe. And now it's starting to get tough. Oh, careful. I gotta get it, figure out how to get over this rock slab. Okay, yeah, okay. this is getting a little bushwhacky. Getting stuck on everything. Okay, and I see why not very many people go highly wily ridge route. Definitely not returning this way. Uh, uh, whew. Holy moly. Uh, uh, that was a lot of two fisted uh, veggie boys up muddy. Slopes. All right, we are getting high up here though. Not much further till we open up into the two, two top of the ridge. Yeah, two hours, 10 minutes. We're getting close. 
I'm not sure what that buzzing was. It was either a hummingbird or a murder hornet. All right, last little steep bushwhacky part. Then I think we should be popping out on top of the ridge here within a couple hundred feet. Woo. All right, three hours to do the 2,000 foot up. We are just broke out of the tree line. No more crappy bushwhacking and a light little rain. Woo, just like in the forecast. At least we didn't go up through the rain. All right, I guess that's the 6,400 bump. Just starting the proper Wiley Ridge run. Woohoo! All right, we're taking, uh, I guess, the lower route so we don't have to gain and lose too much. Looks like a little easier path across. Uh, Luna up in the clouds there. Beautiful day. Little rain showers on and off, not too bad. Luna just doesn't want to show up. Nope. Yeah, tomorrow will. Supposed to be sunny the next two days after this. Oh, a boulder field. Woo! These things all seem to be staying in place. <sighs> Famous last words. All right, I think we're about. Oh, there's Luna barely poking out of the clouds. So we're about half a mile from Highly Wiley Lake. I think we're going to head up that way, take that little tree line, and head over that way. Woo. Bushwhacking. Yeah. Uh, this one isn't too terribly bad. <laughs> All right, now, how do we want to get up that? I think, yeah, let's just hit it low, go around the corner, and we'll be almost to like, whoo, whoo. All right, cross most of this basin. Yeah, get up this little snow slope. We should drop right down to the lick. Once we hit the top of this. Woo! All right. Climbing to the top of this little knob was uh, completely cliffed out on all sides. But we got a view of this gully from the top up there, which is not visible when you walk by it. Woohoo! Now we know our way down to the lake. Look at that, that's awesome. All right, right above Eiley Lake. I gotta head up that ridge over there. Woo. Yeah, I think we got to that high point over there. Realize it's all cliffed out on that side. We can't there's no way to actually run the ridge up there. So Backtrack a little bit found this gully down and Now we're off to the next lake About a mile and a half I think from uh, Challenger arm all right, uh, About half a mile from Wiley Lake. I think about a mile from camp we kind of had an original plan to run the whole ridge line, but that big gulch right there does not show up on the topo map. So we got the top of that side, and we were able to see that gully down there and figured that would get us down, which it did. Don't think we're going to go back that way, though. Woo! All right, let's find the next lake. All right, now we got to find our way to the next lake. Should be like 1,500 feet around the corner that way. Fairly clear, except for the high clouds right behind us. And we got a nice low cloud. It looks like white out in front of us where we're going, which is going to make the crux of getting around Big Beaver Peak. Kind of tricky if we can't see very far. 
Okay, so Wiley Lake is right above us, 800 feet horizontal, maybe uh, two small contour lines, 80 feet or so vertical. That cloud's kind of clearing. Nice view of uh, Luna Cirque. Luna Peak. Woo! Wiley Wiley Ridge is a pain in the ass. Okay, that didn't work out as planned. So we got about a mile to go to the uh, where we were going to camp at the base of Challenger Glacier, Challenger Arm. Woo! But that cloud layer just moved lower the last mile. And the sketchiest part, especially getting around Big Beaver Peak, is in whiteout and it is blowing. So we are going to hunker down make camp right here and see if this blows over and we have a clear morning as forecasted and wake up actually these clouds are supposed to be cleared by seven tonight but that's they're pretty thick by the look of it still all right about 6 30 already got camp set up found a nice little sheltered spot just over the corner from where we were a bit ago and we can see Challenger just poking out of the clouds finally. And we got a little better view of what we need to do to get around that last little hurdle there. So we're not sure exactly how we're going to go around Big Beaver Peak there. Figure that out in the morning. But it is clearing. Awesome. Beautiful view of Luna. The whole cirque. Woo! Wow. Wow. Would have been so nice if we were at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, we're here. Well, the weather's actually improving a little bit. Just pulled down the forecast with the inReach. It's looking better for tomorrow. We still have a chance. Woo, we have a chance. We'll just get up an hour earlier and that'll get us there. Temps are going to be in the 30s. That'll make the snow nice for High getting 30s. over there. Yep. Let's put dinner camp. Chili. So we got rehydrated chili and hot sauce and corn chips. Woo. All right, day two. You did, you did have enough chips, right? Oh, yeah, yep, got enough chips. Woo. All right, 5 a.m. We're just getting started. Weather cleared. We got a clear view of Challenger in front of us. Blue sky forever. Sun's just coming up. Woo! All right, let's get this going. We got this. And we're just starting up the first snow slope. Sun just came up. And that should be a readout over there. Pretty close to the Canadian border now. Woohoo! All right, halfway over to the glacier. All right, our first view of Challenger actually looks good from here. Woohoo! Now I just got to figure out how to get down there. Looks like one path goes up the notch left hand side of Big Beaver Peak, and another one we can drop down and around. So let's look at the drop down and around. All right, we're going to take the lower path. We found the nice little gully down here. Looks like an easy scramble down. We'll go around the base of the buttress there and get ready to start the climb. Woohoo! All right. All right. 6.40, an hour and 40 minutes from Wiley Lake. We are roped up, ready to hit Challenger. So far, it looks good. Hopefully, uh, we don't have any shenanigans actually at the top up there but so far so good all right just crossing the challenger glacier Woo. i think we might be some of the most socially distanced people in the uh cascades right now So, it does look like 
we're seeing a faint set of boot prints up there so somebody has been up here recently probably came in from a different path all right probably about another 400 feet to go I'm gonna find the rock climb all right hardly a cloud in sight all right, probably what last few hundred feet to get to the actual summit block. Woohoo! Looking good. Damn, you can see everything from here. Last 150 feet. And I think the Bergstrand that opens up that blocks the route is probably right here. So it's looking good now. Ooh, this some hurts now. Yeah, a little steep. All right, there is the summit block. Ooh, crazy. There's the sub summit over there, Mount Baker, Mount Whatcom. This kind of looks like a 40 foot high scrambly bit. So, looks like I probably can go down into the moat there no it's just a moat so I think we can probably just climb down to that go through it over there I'm just trying to decide if this is a scramble or not Okay, so it's definitely easier to get into the moat from here. We can just climb around and then rock scramble. So come on down. I will unclip. No, it's What's a little it? dicey, tricky getting, I think, through the moat over there around that corner. Uh, it was like an overhanging down climb of the moat, which didn't look appealing. And from some of the beta, it looks like we can go straight up and over this. And then a little down climb on the other side puts us at the base of the true summit block. So we're going to give this a shot. Ooh. All right, so... Yeah, that's a little tricky part of the getting by the moat there. Looks like I can down climb this. Get back in the moat. And scramble around the base of this thing. All righty. All right. Let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Mm. Woo, it's getting a little chilly in here. Okay. All right. I think we have reached the base of the actual rock climb to the summit woohoo setting up yeah, easy little rock scramble from over there to get here Ooh. all right well i found the first pin that I talk about and the second one they say is super close right there that's two pins out of four and the crux move is going to be up there in a while. Woo Woo. Okay. That's definitely the move.
Awkward. Huh? I've been looking for it. I don't see it. Yeah, someone got a cam stuck up here. <laughs> no, it looks pretty old. I'm still not seeing that last pin anywhere that they talk about. All right, almost there. Oh, I found it. That's, I found it. Don't really need it though. Okay, there's pin four. I'm gonna skip that because I got a nice piece in right there. And I found the wrap slings. Woo! I got it. Oh yeah. Woo. Okay. Not five seven move, but awkward. Awkward as fuck. Oh, there's another pin right here. Well it was only 50 foot climb, right? Which means I'm at the crux move. Yeah, and yeah, here comes Radika. That was a burly move in, in boots. Yeah, that was awkward. Good job leading it. Uh huh. Come on up, and then you can lead out to the summit block there. Summit of Mount Challenger. Look at that view. Woo Good job, Radika. Mount Baker over there. We're at one of the best views in the Northwest right now. Got the whole Luna Cirque. Luna Peak and that whole Eiley Wiley Ridge we gotta backtrack down into that basin by the end of the day ooh don't even want to think about that part ooh. yeah I don't know if there's a summit register or not sure didn't find anything held down now if our friend Sue gets here tomorrow we left you a message we didn't find a summit register to write in but you'll know we're here have a great Ooh. great climb Sue <sighs> uh. oh your pack's still there yeah okay yeah, once you're over here, it's easy. It's easy scrambling. All right, next fun bit is 
Getting to camp on the other side of that thing. Getting at the start of Wiley Wiley Ridge. All right. So we're gonna take our reverse our route here. And we are going up that part of the ridge right there. I'll guess right on the path back to camp. Whew. All right, that was the tedious thousand foot gain of steep heather, screed, loose dirt to get back up to here. Pop over there, a couple hundred feet down, and we are back at camp. All right, the full Luna Cirque. Probably the best view in the house from right here. Ooh. One of the best views in the Northwest. Now we gotta hightail it out of here. We're gonna be setting up uh, next camp in the dark. We parked the tent around here somewhere, right? Uh, okay. uh, 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 cool looking rocks. Huh, these are kind of some cool looking rocks. Oh, there it is. Woo. All right. All right, I think we're going to push through those trees. We're going to take a different line back. Then way up there on the ridge where we kind of got into some shenanigans yesterday. Woohoo. Hopefully, unless we get stuck in some bushwhacking or a gully or something, we get cliffed out. It's more or less a straight shot back to the top of the ridge. So choose your own adventure day. All right, we are cruising through the low path. Mid path. Well, yeah, mid path. Lower considering we took a high path yesterday. Oh yeah, beautiful basin here. So, I think we'll have about another mile that way to the top of the ridge. Just choose your own adventure. Now we're tree climbing. Yeah, I think we just need to get above this tree. Yeah. yeah. Somehow. Yeah, I think if you your route your path is a little better. It'll open up here in a sec. Yeah, just go straight up and push through. Oh, shit. That's just a taste of the bush racking to come. All right, the last thing we got to climb up for in this trip. Got to get up that boulder field, pop up somewhere up in there over the top drop down to the last part of the ridge Woo. my watch is dead yeah well, there's our last views of the Luna Cirque for this trip I think we're going to pitch camp on the 
top of this end of Wiley Ridge over there instead of coming down the 2,000 foot of gnarly bushwhacking which is probably going to be happening in the dark at this point right all right about nine o'clock we've finally made it to the final drop down back to the basin but we're going to pitch camp on a nice little snow field here